What I want to talk about in this video is the leader. The leader. Let me write this down. The leader. And the leader is a unit for measuring fluid volume. So how much space does a fluid take up? So what does one liter look like? Well, one of these milk bottles is a liter. And you're most typically going to think about a liter in your everyday life when you're buying some type of beverages, milk or water. In fact, next time you go to the grocery store, see a lot of the, a lot of the bottles you get. They might be exactly one liter. Some of the soda bottles are two liters. But this right over here is one, one liter. And we'd write a capital L for short. That's one liter. And so there's six liters in total in this little carrying case. But each of these milk bottles is one liter. So that's a liter. But what if we want to go to really small volumes of water? Well, if we want to go to really small volumes of water, we normally talk about milliliters. Milliliters. Let me write this down. Milli, milli, milliliters. Actually, let me write it this way. Let me write milli in another color. Milli, milliliters. So it's a milliliter. And a milliliter. A milli is a prefix that you'll see a lot when you're using units, and that means one one thousandth of a liter. So this means one one thousandth, one one thousandth of of a of a liter. And the notation for milliliter is a lowercase m and an uppercase l. Milliliter. Another way to think about it, it would take one thousand milliliters to get to one liter. So what does a milliliter look like? Well, if you imagine these medicine droppers, a milliliter would be about that high on one of those medicine droppers. And a lot of these medicine droppers actually will have a milliliter. Actually, they'll have up to five milliliters marked off. But a milliliter would be about that much. Or if you were to take a teaspoon from your cabinet in your kitchen and you were to scoop out a teaspoon of water, that, so this one over here is going to be about one milliliter. And a teaspoon of fluid, that's going to be about five. That's going to be about five milliliters. So another way to think about it is you would have to take a thousand of these drops to fill one of these one of these bottles of milk. A thousand milliliters to get to one liter. Or you would have to do, let's see, five, you'd have to put five, sorry, you'd have to do two hundred teaspoons of say milk to fill up this entire thing because each of them is five milliliters. Two hundred times five milliliters, you're going to have a thousand milliliters, which is one liter. Let me write this down. This right over here, this is one liter, which is the same thing as one thousand, one thousand milliliters. Now what if we go to what if we go to things that are much larger? What if we go to things that are much larger than the scale of a of a jar of milk? Say a swimming pool. And this right over here, this is a picture of a Olympic size swimming pool, which is for the most part the, the largest pools. Well, there are some larger pools at some fancy hotels and things, but they're very large pools. So what do you think would be if, if one milk bottle has a one like this has a fluid volume of one liter? What do you think about a whole swimming pool? Well, actually a swimming pool like this, if it is twenty five meters wide and fifty meters long and two meters deep, it actually would have a fluid volume. Are you ready for this? It would have a fluid volume of 2.5 million, 2.5 million liters. So if you fill this up with milk, you could use that milk to fill up 2.5 million of these bottles. So that's just an appreciation for just how much fluid it would take to fill up at least a big swimming pool like this, an Olympic sized swimming pool. A swimming pool that you might more typically see at someone's house who isn't, you know, that doesn't have an Olympic sized swimming pool, so kind of a house sized swimming pool, is still going to be, it's not unusual to see one that'll be more than 100, 100,000. 100,000 liters. So once again, when you're thinking about you know, teaspoons or, or drops of, uh, from a dropper, you're thinking in the milliliter range. If you're thinking about the type of something that you might drink in a day or that your family might drink over, say, a week, you're thinking in really the liter range. And if you're thinking about how much, how much fluid it would take to fill a swimming pool, now you're talking in the tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands or even millions of liter range.